Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. When I happened to walk through my home, I also pointed out where my home network hub happened to be. And there sat uh, at least one network attached storage device, a NAS device, one that I had reviewed a while ago. And Scott Kitchen sent me an email related to uh, the home network uh, that uh, he saw, or at least parts of it that he saw from the house tour that he rented on uh, YouTube. Actually, he may have rented it from uh, the other places that we have it. I don't know. Either way, he saw it, and he's wondering which NAS device I'm using. And if you do remember that video from a while ago, you'll know that it's a Synology disk station. And uh, with this, I can essentially, you know, access storage from anywhere on the home network or beyond. Uh, they have a couple of iOS apps, which makes it easy for me to browse uh, either music or other media like photos remotely without being uh, directly attached to it. Um, it's extremely configurable. Uh, the interface, uh, the administrative interface is so powerful. I don't know if I would go as far as to recommend it to the average user. I would specifically recommend it to the power user who wants to control every aspect of uh, their NAS device. Uh, I could set up uh, an FTP server on it if I wanted to. The, the reason why I, I use it at this point is not for backup. I, I'm relying on time capsule uh, for that at this point. That is also on my network. You can consider that uh, uh, network attached storage. Um, and that's in a wired capacity. It happens to be connected as well as this NAS device. Uh, the reason I'm using it is, is primarily as a media server, uh, since there's an option to make it so that iTunes picks it up, uh, and then I can browse uh, the music that I have uh, sitting um, you know, on that uh, system. In, you know, that being said, I don't even use it all that frequently. Yeah, I guess I do have some backup there, but I, you know, backup maybe once a year, all the, all the documents and whatnot. Most of that happens to be pushed to the cloud too. I have multiple points of, of backup, you know, because there are multiple points of, of potential of failure. Uh, you know, I, I think, you know, more and more, uh, the idea of a network attached storage is not as important a as it once was, if only because, you know, we have these newer services that allow us to push data to the cloud. And so long as you're not capped by your ISP, an artificial cap, might I add, I probably shouldn't get into this right now. Uh, either way, you've, you've got to watch the data that you're pushing back and forth. Um, but they're certainly, you know, more affordable, um, easy to configure, and, in s and I think uh, most... I think the average user is not even thinking that they need a NAS device, and they probably don't. Uh, most people would just be intent on just keeping their computer on, but the nice thing about using a, you know, a network-attached storage device is that it's dedicated. That's all it does is just serve stuff. And you can even have a network-attached storage device that has RAID uh, capabilities. I, I don't think I configured mine for RAID. I, you know, maybe I'm doing it right, but... It, Knock on wood, I've only had maybe a couple of hard drive failures in my life, and, and largely that, that was years and years and years ago. Uh, I've kept data backed up. You know, redundancy is the name of the game. So, uh, yeah, I happen to like Synology at this point. Um, they sent the review unit, it absolutely worked, and uh, it's extremely configurable. I don't know what else to say other than it's nice. I, I, I like it. That's what. Scott was asking for in, in, in the email, asking a series of questions related to my home network. And thanks again for watching the house tour. You probably have other questions after seeing that. Uh, my email address, chris at perillo.com. I appreciate the support of the community that supports me. Uh, and then, of course, uh, lockernome.com, lockernome.net, chris.perillo.com, at chris Perillo on Twitter, facebook.com slash chris Perillo, Google Plus. I'm there as well. I'm pretty much everywhere, including in a live video feed. This is being broadcast from a place. But you're not watching the live video feed. You're watching after I've posted this uh, to uh, my my channel. Actually, you know, before I forget, if you guys have a brand to recommend, let me know. What are you thinking? It may not even be a leading brand. Tell me what and why. I am curious because there may be a better option out there. You never know. If it suits you, that's cool. And, and you know, if you want to engage other people who are part of the community live and in real time, you can join us in the chat room. Uh, it's part of the live video feed going out over the web, and we're geeking out 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.